guys i'm a kenyan and uh it happened that uh yesterday i had attended a burial of a friend's uh friend a friend's friend who had died and was being buried yesterday in a place called rimuru and guys i attended that burial and what i saw yesterday i'm still in shock and unable to narrate i don't know if i'm even going to make sense in this video because i am still in shock i'm in still in shock guys i attended that burial and what happened is just not something that like you can even phantom wherever you are guys we were just seated you know the body was there usually here we we, we have services by either, either in schools if the compound that uh you uh, the family has is not uh, big enough to hold the the uh, mourners you can hold barrios uh, ceremonies in the school compounds or in church compounds and, and such this particular one we were holding it somewhere in the school compound and uh, i'm telling you we had hired i mean the, the uh, family had hired seats and everything else so that people can assemble there in preparation for burial. So the body was there. We were seated in tents. You know, it's raining. It's a rainy season this particular time. So tents were uh, there and everyone was seated and uh, preachings and uh, talks were going on. And in the fraction of a second, just as uh, people were just giving speeches and uh, waiting to call family members to speak, uh, uh, uh members of parliament to speak uh registrators to speak people came from nowhere and goons came from nowhere and started throwing um seats all over stones and uh, beating up the villagers and they headed to the main tent where the guest of honors were seated they broke the the, the seats there they had they held seats to to to, to the dignitaries they beat them up and uh i'm telling you it was <laughs> uh everybody was running helter skelter because everybody was trying to save their lives imagine you're seated somewhere and then something just happens and you just hear commotion behind you you don't see what is happening everybody starts running around escaping screaming and all you can see in the air are frying seats and stones and everything and you don't even know what to go to, where to go because some of us were guests there. We don't even know the, 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 the back streets of the village. So we did not even know where to run to. We were stranded. Others were falling down and they were being trampled upon. And guys, do you know I'm still in shock? So uh, turning back like this, I could see uh, seats are being thrown or over. You don't know who is throwing, who, who is beating who. Women screaming, you know, most villagers are old, old women. And whenever there is a barrio, they attend. And they are there, they had gone there with their walking sticks because the person who had died is a very young guy who is 21 years old. And they were there now, you know, this is something to mourn. And everybody was like, how can a young man die? And this casket is still there with the body. But everybody has started running away. Seats are being thrown up and, uh, uh, up and about and nobody knows what is happening guys it was just chaotic it was chaotic so guys in a moment we we, we, we we managed to hide ourselves behind some banana plantation with my friend and we could watch from there even as they were now attacking the main guests at the tent with seats and uh you, i cannot tell you what i saw because all i could see were seats in the air plastic seats in the air and guys it was chaotic the next thing that happened is that we saw the goons now um as the, the people started running away and most of those that had vehicles you know how how it is when you have a vehicle and you're able to run to your vehicle you run there and try to escape that is now what happened and people started running to their vehicles and trying to escape the goons started throwing seats to the cars stones breaking the weed screens you know breaking the weed screens uh, 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 stepping on those that ha had fallen down you know as they were running 
most most of the people could fall down they were just trampling on them and uh, it was a stampede guys it was just bad it was bad so they stoned the cars they beat the cars with the seats they broke the screens and guys i have never seen something like that all this time the family members that were supposed to be mourning their loved ones no one even thought about them no one even went to protect them or even to care for them not even the body that was in the casket everybody started running helter skelter it was like in a movie guys i'm still thinking it was a movie that i saw yesterday i'm still thinking it's a movie because i don't know what to tell you here so the vehicles re uh, were, were driven away with broken wood screens and uh, uh broken uh, whatever <laughs> what can i tell you guys those that were able to escape with their vehicles escaped but guys i want to tell you something that i have lived on this earth but i've never seen something like that it was so bad it was very 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 bad but why i'm doing this video is this i don't know where these goons came from i don't know if they were paid goons or what i don't know why it had to happen at a funeral when people are burying their loved ones and i don't know where humanity is heading or headed to these days that nobody even cares that you have lost somebody and the feelings of loss you know you say people people right there say rest in peace yet they don't they want to comfort the 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 the, the, the departed family members with, with with this kind of an act is that how they come comforting them did anybody even run to the wife i mean to the mother of this uh, uh departed person or to the father or to the family members to comfort them when this uh, uh, uh hula started happening nobody even remembered them they were left there with their body not knowing whether to go and shield the body or what the casket whether to go now run away for their lives imagine you have a loved one who is dead and is there in a casket now things have started happening you don't know whether to, to run to your to, to your departed uh, kin to go and, and be besides the coffin you or you don't know whether to run away for your life now and hide yourself in the wherever you can you don't know whether to leave the casket there because you don't know who, who these goons are and what they have come with it was chaotic i don't know how i don't have the words to explain how how ugly it was guys is this kenya is this kenya the country that was known to be peaceful in fact we used to host refugees from all over because we were the peaceful people in this region is this kenya where people are attacked at a barrio is this Kenya where you can be injured out there and nobody cares? Is, there, is this Kenya where maybe hired goods can come anytime, even during burial and kill you? Because who knows? We don't know how many people died in that incident. Because all I did is that after that, I had to look for the quickest means and escape from that place and go home. Because all that mattered is me reaching to my home now. And you know, I had willingly gone for a burial. I did not even bury the person that had gone to bury because the situation could not allow me to do that. Guys, it's like in the movie. I'm still in shock. I'm sure you are also in shock even as you listen to this story and you are wondering, can that be happening? Or is this a lie? This is real. It happened in Rimuru yesterday. It is real. And guys, I don't know what to say about humanity. Let me tell you, there are some things that you can uh, even be told by somebody to do and you choose not to. Even if this person is paying you what or what or what you can say, because of the God that has given me life, I will not go and do this thing that I'm be being paid to do. And you refuse. But you cannot expose yourself to being bought to do things that are not, that are not human, humanly possible. Uh, you know, there are some, even the language is not there, guys. There are some things you can't do. It doesn't matter how much you can be, pay. somebody is paying you to, to, for, for what. Because you can choose not to do that thing. I don't want to say that anybody had paid anybody, but who are these goons who can come and attack people in, in a barrio? Who are they? Who are they? Where did they come from? Why were they attacking? Because the person is dead here 
is being buried what were they what were they why were they going to the vip tent is was there a vip person that maybe they wanted to attack there i don't know i was in a barrio as a mona but i saw goons coming and specifically attacking the people that were in a certain tent the dignitaries and thereafter why I think it is them that were being targeted is because when the big vehicles now for the dignitaries started driving away, stones were still being hurled at them and they were just breaking their windscreen and say, uh, uttering uh, words like, Ua, Ua, which means kill, kill, go, go, go. Who is this that they were saying, go, go, go? Who is this that they were saying, kill? Did they want to come and kill somebody in a barrio? Did they want to kill somebody in a barrio? Have we become this rotten, Kenyans? Have we become this rotten? Don't we even have the fear of God in us anymore? Do we fear God? Let me ask you. If somebody paid you to go and do some, some nasty things like those, when you're seated in your house, maybe eating uh, uh, dinner, with the money that maybe somebody paid you for, because they are not even paid much money, these goods are just given a few, few uh, hundred shillings to go and do things. When they are eating dinner, what do you think you are doing when you are eating from that money? That you maybe injured somebody in order to be paid. That you are paid even for injuring somebody or killing somebody. Because in this case, you can eat somebody and they die. These aged people that we have in the villages these days, or not these days, but always, obviously, aged people have, have got uh, diseases like uh, diabetes, high blood pressure. And something like this can make their, has high, their pressures uh, uh, shoot up and they collapse and die. I've seen people just die out of high blood pressure because they are confused. They don't, they don't have the energy to run. Oh my God, I saw some old women that could not even run away. They were like, ah, what is happening now? What is happening? And they were like, ah, I can't walk. An old woman was holding the back. How can I even run away? I can't even walk. What is happening? And it was chaotic. How are you seen by God doing some of these things? How will you face that judgment when God comes to judge you for what you have done? It is very sad. It is very unfortunate. I had to uh, to wait to, to, <laughs> to see if I could be able to, to talk because I was shocked since yesterday. I was very, very shocked. And I could not even utter a word. But I said I have to do this video and, and ask you people. It's not a movie. Have you ever seen something like that? Have you been ever, ever been in a situation where something happens and everybody is running out of skeleton, stones are being thrown, this and that is happening, and you don't know what to do. And you are like, now what do I do? That is the situation I was in, in a barrio that I attended, hoping that I'm going to bury a friend's friend whom I had accompanied to the body. It's very unfortunate. Guys, I don't know what to tell you, but that is what happened. Bye-bye.